Well, I was wrong again. Let's dive into what TD2's been hiding up their sleeve, and let's cover Episode 3 and Warlords of New York. <laughs> Welcome all IG Watch 6 Games, the gamer channel that brings you a variety of entertainment and content. Bo here and here. Before I kick things off, I'd appreciate the love by y'all sharing and hitting those icons that need the clicking. With that said, check out the social meds where I post daily and keep in touch with the followers. Now let go. First things first. Last week I put out a video saying that, well, technically I was right in a way, but I'll admit it, I was wrong. Episode 3 does not drop on the 18th. In fact, it drops on the 12th for all year one owners. We get the free episode 3 of going to Coney Island for the two main missions and two classified assignments and the gear 2.0. That all drops for us tomorrow. As for the rest of y'all, y'all get it one week later. Now, that wasn't the big news of this whole reveal with TD2. The big news was the release of Warlords of New York. This is an expansion pack that we'll all have to buy. And that drops March 3rd. No price out yet. I'm sure if I dive in, I'll fucking find it somewhere. Probably going to be 40 bucks. That's a typical expansion price as it is for y'all Europeans. What's that? 30... 30 euro but y'all are not that strong are y'all maybe like 33 euro anyway so the expansion we have five bosses to kill and the main one we're chasing after is keener keener's back he's revealed himself we're gonna go help out Fei lao and tom rhodes tom rhodes sounds like a comedian i think his name is tom rhodes though Anyway, we're going to go help them out back in the lower Manhattan area. <laughs> and we get a pretty decent sized map, y'all. We got five people to take out. And so the four sub bosses, I don't have their names on me. And I can't recall. So let's just go with these four. All are different types of factions slash specializations they have. You know, you got your diverse cast, right? One's a tech, one's stealthy, one's big and loud, and one's a big ass cleaner. Some shit like that. Anyway, the map looks pretty damn good. It looks pretty big. I would even say it covers about an eighth of the original TD1 map. Maybe, yeah, I wouldn't go as far as a sixth. But it's a good sized map. The four sub bosses all have their own areas of the map, so you're going to be going through quite a bit of content coming March 3rd. Now let's get back to the release of episode 3 tomorrow for year 1 pass owners. Again, that's just the two main missions, the two classified assignments in the gear rework 2.0. But the big drop is March 3rd. So kind of I know I'm buying it, and I saw that they have the Ultimate Edition. Fuck, what's that gonna run? 50, 60 bucks? Fuck no. A full game? Anyway, shit, my bad, y'all. Let me digress. I'm buying the Ultimate Edition just for the goddamn extra cosmetics and shit people like to see. <laughs> I do it for the people, I don't do it for myself. Anyway, it's exciting. This, I believe, can bring back the community. I know I got tired of same old same in TD2. It would have held me a lot longer if the, the uh, Dark Zone was uh, a little more enjoyable. How about uh, bigger maps? But they are reworking the DZ, the whole system. That uh, is to be dropped March 3rd as well. A shitload of shit's coming March 3rd. I'll have it in the background for y'all to see. We're going to have global events coming. There's going to be leagues. We got new skills coming. All y'all sticky bomb MFers. 
that sticky bombs back and then each of those sub bosses that we're gonna kill in warlords of new york the expansion they all have a new skill for us we take them out we get that skill and they reveal to us the trap skill now this is a great cc uh skill you pretty much throw it out like a hive and then whoever's in that area of effect they get shocked and shit so it's like uh the good old days with td1 having a good other than the flame turret with td2 td1 had better cc and that's what's going to help us with uh this new expansion and the gear rework that drops tomorrow fuck can't wait for this just putting the builds back together the old time old school way of making a skill build a healer build a dps build a tank build a dz build a strictly pvp build. all that shit is back and it's going to be easier than ever you know because td2 didn't have a really good system let's all be honest people are going to say yeah you just have to know all the fucking shit no you don't want the gamers to have a cheat fucking sheet printed out like I did to, to remember the stats and how high a god roll is. So what else did they reveal? Well, obviously we're going to be in lower Manhattan. So our boo, our base of operations is no longer the library or the terminal. We have a new base and it's being shown right here in the background. With a nice little puppy German Shepherd, little puppy. He's a fat little thing, isn't he? He's just a chubby. Alright, anyway, sorry. The new base of operations where Rhodes keeps it nice, spick and span. But that's where we'll have our base. I also found this interesting when uh, watching this last stream here. Look at that. They're testing the game with the Xbox controller. That's good to know. I mean,. You know, they're still working on the PC, but they still at least get the mechanics of testing it while holding a controller. Whereas it seemed early in the TD1 days and maybe the beginning of TD2, it seemed like everything was being worked through a PC. And because just some mechanics just didn't fit naturally as well with the console players but it's glad I'm glad to see that they actually test with controllers another new thing introduced is when we get the warlords of New York the new expansion we also get to increase our uh, player character level from 30 now we're capped out at 40 but wait there's more apparently not only when we hit level 40 there is this infinite progression which sounds like a fancy way of um of making optimizing your build towards your game style but they say it's infinite so i guess you're just man that sounds like a lot of grind doesn't it but it'll keep us fucking hooked won't it but i'm kind of i'm glad to see that they're throwing this in because whole i mean you get tired of a build you get tired of a build and what's a looter shooter for if not improving your character so i'm glad to see that they're throwing this shit in oh man i'm looking forward to this i gotta tell y'all what and here's a look at the new ui system with the gear 2.0 as you can see you can read your stats a lot easier and see at the level of the roll is so it's quick and easy you're not guessing the numbers which is a huge bonus for people who don't want to I don't know feel like they're in math class keeping up with their build last thing I want to touch up on in this video is the new features and improvements that come along with the expansion warlords of New York dropping March 3rd increase to level 40 we covered the infinite progression system we've covered you get the instant character 
uh, level 30 if you choose to go straight to uh, the, the expansion you do not have to play through the campaign level up to 31st you can just start in New York already at a level 30 new gear weapons and skills we covered some of the skills the new gear there's gonna be new gear sets there's gonna be new brand sets there's gonna be new weapons we saw an SMG revealed uh, sniper rifle revealed and I believe an S uh, LMG it's a, a couple of weapons here and there but it should hopefully hold us for a while the UI and core system revamp we saw that the revamped dark zones I did not cover as much but hopefully um, it's fixed to the point where a lot of us can get in there and actually enjoy legendary difficulty fuck I didn't see that legendary difficulty hell yes directives and global difficulty level not sure what that's all about but I'll be sure to keep you on the loop as more shits revealed for the new expansion and I imagine they'll be leaking out shit uh, tad bit by tad bit so tell me what y'all think are y'all buying this expansion you a little interested you thinking on it are you on the fence just uh, hit up the comments and let's talk this through I know I'm hyped for it I'll be there day one hopefully a little early access <laughs> I'm joking actually I'm not joking but let me know what y'all think. Y'all buying, interested, or you're done with the game. Be sure to let me know though. We'll talk it. And as we close out, hope you got what you came for. Share with your mates. Click those buttons that need the clicking. Want to catch us in action? Check out the squad as we stream. Schedule down below in the description. Swing on by and say hello. And as always, I say peace. Hello.